you find the defendant Sierra Day guilty of aggravated murder? Justice for Anaya in criminal court. We just want to make sure we bring change here in our community to protect our children. Now her father's mission to hold those he feels responsible for his daughter's death will head to civil court. Well, the lawyer for Anaya Day Garrett's father says now that the girl's mother and her boyfriend are behind bars, as you just heard there, he's planning to sue those he believes is responsible for his daughter's death. And that includes Cuyahoga County Department of Children and Family Services. Sian Yorker has been following Anaya's story from the very beginning. She joins us now with these latest developments. See ya. Tiffany and Chris, Michael Garrett's attorney says the conviction and sentencing was just phase one for justice for Anaya. They plan to hold all those people and agencies who failed that four-year-old girl accountable in the hopes that nothing like this will ever happen again. Attorney Paul Grico tells me he takes issue with this statement from the Director of Children and Family Services. I don't think the system is broken. I think a good system is always improving itself. He says there's no denying it, the county failed four-year-old Anaya Day Garrett multiple times. For the director to get on TV last week and state that she didn't believe the system was broken, uh, is just outrageous, knowing that that report had already come out, knowing they have seen that report and what's in that report. That report confirms that um, Anaya had been beaten, uh, severely harmed over a period of years, and the county knew about it. Which is just one of the reasons why he says Anaya's father, Michael Garrett, wants to pursue a lawsuit. Last year, the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services issued a scathing report that showed on at least four occasions, caseworkers failed to follow protocols and ignored Anaya's injuries, despite her telling people, mommy hurts me. The director told me earlier this month that the agency is working on a list of changes after Anaya's death, but attorney Grico says those changes should include transparency. He tells me the county is withholding documents from Anaya's case. He says they're all afraid this could happen to another child. The other interesting uh, comment by the director was, um, it's not all on us, the county. It's, about, it's on every citizen in Cuyahoga County. If you see something, say something. Michael Garrett said something. Anaya Garrett said something. The police said something. Doctors, nurses said something. Uh, daycare center uh, individuals said something and they said it all to children and family services and what did they do nothing Michael Garrett is also moving forward with Anaya's law their child protection laws that includes emergency removal of minors that are in imminent danger he has more than 27,000 signatures and is planning to present those signatures to lawmakers to get the ball rolling getting answers see a New Yorker Cleveland 19.